Welcome back to Overtime here on WOTM. Just over 48 hours from now, we'll start the baseball season, oh, yeah. Mark. And uh, Major League Baseball, obviously one of the first sports from the professional levels that got back on track. You had NASCAR, you had UFC, and Major League Baseball after some, some, some turmoil between the players and the owners. But now we are back. A lot of people around here are Atlanta Braves fans, and a lot of people kind of want to know how the Braves are going to be going into this year. Obviously last year, made it deep into the playoffs before losing to the eventual World Series champion, the L.A. Dodgers. Got some good additions and re-signed some guys back into the lineup. Are you as uh, excited about the Braves season as maybe Braves fans are going into this year? Well, I think the Braves have broken my heart, you know, being a Met fan so many times. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I, I've actually rooted for the Braves the last couple of years in the postseason. Um, their inability to achieve in the postseason, you can point to specific things like not getting the run home in game four against uh, St. Louis uh, when Acuna let off with a triple, or uh, you know, even last year not being able to hold the lead against the Dodgers right. uh, in the six, seventh innings, uh, one of the runs was taken away because of a, of a replay. Um, I think the Braves have the most talent. Obviously, Acuna is a guy who I believe could hit 70 home runs. This guy is probably the most talented player in baseball. Huge offseason acquisition, Charlie Morton, a guy who's 4-0 in series deciding games in the postseason since 2017, including wins over the Yankees. Uh, and last year wins over the uh, over the Astros, mm -hmm. uh, and in those games in 20 innings pitch only allowed two earned runs. Huge for the Atlanta rotation. Sirocco is a guy that got hurt, um, and uh, it wasn't there uh, to be able to uh, help them in the postseason last year. Right. Uh, but also, look, Snickers got to make better decisions in the postseason. Mm -hmm. You think back to 2018 when they lost to the Dodgers, taking Fulte out for a pinch hitter in the fifth inning of a one nothing game. Right. To me, it was kind of you know, maybe uh, questionable, okay? And, and even uh, some of the things he's done out of his bullpen with Shane Green not getting the save in game four against the Cardinals, a game they clearly should have won. So, you know, up 3-1 against the Dodgers. So there are things you can point to that maybe, um, you know, he can be held accountable for. But overall, since 1991, 20 postseason appearances for Atlanta, including 14 straight division titles. Uh, only the Yankees have had more with 21. The big difference there is the Yankees have won more World Series, obviously, including bleeding Atlanta twice. Um, and you'd like to see the, the Braves uh, win more. Also, going back to uh, since uh, losing the 2001 NLCS, they, they have only won two playoff series in that time. Right. You know, uh, and that's, you know, 2002 losing in five games, 2003, five games to the Cubs, 2004, five games to the Astros, 2005 losing on uh, Chris Burke with an 18-inning home, 18th inning home run to beat uh, them in 2005. And then uh, remember the uh, uh, against Atlanta, uh, excuse me, against St. Louis in a, in a wild card, there was a pop-up that they ruled as an infield fly right, yeah. that stopped them yeah. from scoring, which I was thought was the worst call I've ever fans, seen. A lot of Braves fans remember that game. That was the worst call I've ever seen. I thought that they were going to protest. Joe Torrey was there, but nothing ever came of it. Those types of things, bad luck kind of have it, has happened to Atlanta in the playoffs, kind of like uh, Oakland A's. Um, but look, you can only get there, okay? And they've gotten there. And I love their talent. I still think they're the best team in the uh, National League East. I know the Mets have made a lot of moves, and then you have the Phillies and the Nationals who won the World Series in 2019. But until the Mets can beat the Braves, until they line up and actually beat them, and Freddie Freeman doesn't have three run doubles, you know, coming from everywhere, mm -hmm. then uh, uh, Atlanta's the best team that I've, that I've seen in that division, and they deserve the recognition they, they get. Take this for what it's worth. The ESPN people have made their predictions about not only made projections about wins and losses, but they have also made playoff odd predictions. Let's take a look at those. The defending World Series champion LA Dodgers are sitting there at number one, and they project them to win over 100 wow. games, 107 games with a 99.3% playoff uh, uh, odds to make the playoffs. You also talked about two teams that are in the top five. The Atlanta Braves sitting there at number four and your New York Mets sitting there at number five, both over, <laughs> over 90 wins for the season. I know that this you have, you have a whole lot to digest between now and yep. then. The San Diego Padres obviously share the same division with the Dodgers and the Braves and the Mets share a division. But what, what's your takeaway of, of what you think overall for not only your squad up north, but, but the Braves here as well? Young talent. A lot of uh, you know, groundbreaking young talent. You look at Fernando Tatis with the Padres. Mm -hmm. I mean, what a year he had last oh, yeah. year. You couldn't throw Break the ball up. anywhere. Mm -hmm. He reminds me of like a young Vladimir Guerrero. There's nowhere you can pitch this guy. Right. You throw him uh, you know, 10 feet outside and he'll wind up hitting it over the right field fence. Um, he's a guy I love. Uh, the, the Twins and the White Sox 
in both in the Central Division. The White Sox were a young team last year who some people said were going to make the postseason, uh, but maybe others said, yeah, it's too soon. They had a very good year last year. They got a lot of really good young talent. Minnesota is kind of like Oakland. You know, they're a team that really doesn't have a lot of money, but they consistently have made the postseason without getting postseason success. Right. Uh, Tampa Bay, a team that, I mean, I look at and I think, how can Tampa Bay win more than the Mets with the amount of money that the Mets have? Right. And the fact that every time Tampa Bay gets somebody good, they have to let them go, uh, just shows you what kind of an organization Tampa Bay has, how well they pay attention to these new analytics who might get you into the postseason, but hasn't really shown you can consistently win a World Series yet. We'll see if it happens in 2021. And that season gets underway starting on Thursday. We'll make some predictions about division championships and our season predictions coming up tomorrow night. Coming up in our next segment, we're talking NFL. A huge move today by the NFL owners for this upcoming football season. We'll discuss next. Did I say too much? No, that's good.